Bergen. I don't know which side he wants to come on. All right, this is the first uh, first fishing video out of the new Skeeter. Um, water temperatures, you know, 45 to 50, depending on what part of the lake that you're uh, on. My favorite time of the year. I got a flat A, a jig, a rogue, and a sonar man I laid out right now. We may have to add something. But by far my favorite time of the year, it's predictable. Um, if you find them, they tend to stay the same for the most for the most part. Haven't been fishing, so we're just going to go fishing. I, I'm kind of thinking that we're probably going to lean a lot on the sonar minnow. I know a lot of guys have really been intrigued with that technique since the uh, since the classic. Going to have a lot of wind today. It's going to be challenging. Um, that's why we got a rogue laid out too. We come around some, they're up high. We'll probably jerk a rogue also, but. Just gonna go fishing and see if we can catch some. Water looks great. I mean, we're on the upper end of the lake and probably have three foot visibility. So I'm sure down the lake, it's gonna be really, really clear, which is what you need, you know, this time of year uh, with that sonar minnow to be able to catch them. So let's run around and see if we can, see if we can find some. Been deer hunting a lot. I'm kind of in the mood to go fishing. You know, fishing, I, I fished this lake a lot over the years. Um, this is the first time I've been out, gosh, since last year. Um, and one of the things, it's never the same. I fished here for 30 years and it's never exactly the same. And, you know, coming out for the first time, you kinda, I kinda just wanna figure out uh, where these fish are at. You know, this, this stretch here that I'm fishing, you know, it's a deeper, it's kind of a channel bank. You can see it's kind of steeper and then it flattens out a lot down here. And, you know, it'll tell me pretty much right off the bat if they're on the deeper stuff or right, right there. I know what that is. Big drum, little drum. But anyway, it tells you kind of the tendencies of where they, where they want to be at. You know, I've seen years out here fishing where you could only catch them deep, years that you could only catch them shallow, and years where they were everywhere. Uh, some, I mean, sometimes they, they get on brush. I mean, it's, it's just never exactly the same. So, you know, coming out here for the first time, I, I kind of want to pick areas, you know, little, little stretches that I can fish a little bit of both and, you know, keep an eye on live scope, know how they're set up and uh, just kind of learn for the day. I'm not just gonna run, you know, to this spot or that spot just because I caught them there last year or the year before. Uh, yeah, so we're going fishing. There may, be, there may be some dead time today, but you know, that's, that's part of learning. You know, a lot of guys say, well, I went fishing the first three hours. I didn't get a bite. I didn't learn anything. You actually learned a lot. You learn where they're not or what not to do. So, you know, we're, we're going to try a lot of different things. We'll probably run across some fish before the end of the day, and we'll probably fish some areas that we're not going to get bit just, just to try to learn exactly where everything wants to be set up. You know, the, I got just typical baits laid out. You know, a rogue, uh, jig, crankbait.
I just so many down there. Why they would not hit the road? Just kept following it. Something's going on. Like I said, it's different every year. Usually you cannot keep the smallmouth off, and haven't had a smallmouth bite yet. Just everything's acting weird, and the only thing that I've seen is different than normal is the shad are all up real high and I think it's just got I don't know it's got everything being weird like birds or I mean you look around there's just birds everywhere all the drum are up shallow usually the drum are 30 40 50 foot deep We'll catch him on this if we have to. I don't know what it is, but he's fast. It's a black. There is a bunch of them down there. I'm not really looking at him and watching. I mean, there's so many. I'm just there like 13 foot deep over the top of that brush. I'm just counting it down and putting in the center of them. Be big. He doesn't feel big, but I jerked that rogue through there three times and not a bite. I made three casts with this and caught three. Look at how fat that spot is. Normally these spots aren't up this shallow. That's why I think something weird is coming. I mean, that dude is full. Classic, classic color. You gotta get that bait on there real straight or it'll, or it'll lay on one side. There's a whole wad of fish underneath the sh shed. What, these blacks are acting like smallmouth. Just gotta put it in front of him. And that's where a live scope comes into play. There's no way you'd know that fish was there. If it wasn't for that, there's like 10. underneath that bait ball that's where all the like it's starting to all make sense now where they're at biggin I don't know which side he wants to come on First brown of the day. It's a good one though. Fat. I can't really reach him. I actually thought he was bigger than that. You know, fishing can be so hard, and then it just clicks. And it's clicked where they're all at now. 
all the baits up shallow because of the warm weather. When I say shallow, I don't mean on the bank, I mean they're up high. And rather than these fish being strung out along the bank, hunting crawdads and stuff like that, they're just swimming down underneath these bait balls. And that's why there's a lot of fish in brush too, up high, because they're just waiting for the bait to come by. I was like, that's not even hard. You just, like these, I just got it. I mean, if you just get it close to them. Look at them right there. There's, you can see the bait. There's some more right here. I haven't caught a smallmouth all day, then catch two back to back. Yeah, a shaddy spit up. This looks just like my bait. Fun, fun. This reminds me of Hartwell, they just, this is a black, they're just all mixed together. I'll get back here and grab this one. Getting it deep too. So deep I can't even get my finger in there. Look at them. It's a fun fishing day. I would not be super crazy about if I was fishing a tournament tomorrow just for the fact that you don't know where they're going to end up. I mean, you just going down a bank and come across them. There's no, you don't know if you're going to catch a four pounder Three pounder or what? But there is a bunch of them. It's hard because I can't see I can't see when my bait because there's so many shed I can't see when my bait lands and where it's at until it goes through the shed. Digging. Easy. Shed. I think that'll do it for the day. A little yum sonar, not bad for the first day on the water for 2023. Fat, blown up. Thanks for riding along.